Hey everybody, it's lunch. I thought maybe I would spend my lunch hour outside, well, sort of, I'm in my car, um, with this bag of yarn scraps that I found at a secondhand store and uh, my hook and uh, just sort of see what happens. So I've got a lot of greens and browns in here and that kind of suggests to me like earthy stuff. So I've already done a coniferous tree and I really like those. So I thought maybe what I would do since I had a very small amount of green and brown is I would make a tree finger puppet. And while most evergreen trees aren't necessarily all that animated, you could put a little face on this one or just use it as part of a set prop. <laughs> because, uh, you know, finger puppet shows can get pretty involved. So we're gonna start really tiny. We're gonna start with a cinch circle. And that's you make a loop, put your hook through your loop, grab your yarn, pull it back, chain one. And since I'm going to start really, really tiny, I'm going to single crochet four into this circle. One, two, three, four. Cinch it tight. And then continuing to work in the round, I'm going to turn this four into six. So I'm going to single crochet directly into the next stitch twice. So two single crochet in this stitch, single into the next, so only one, single crochet twice into the next stitch, and then single into the next, and we're going to single crochet all the way around. So just count st count six. <laughs> Five, six. All right. Uh, we're going to increase from six to nine. So we're going to single crochet twice into the next stitch, then once, then twice. Five, six, seven, eight, eight once. nine. I've already done it. Okay, so we're at nine. <laughs> seems like I'm in a hurry. It's because I'm on my lunch. Uh, now we're going to single crochet all the way around. So count nine again. One, two, three, eight, and nine. And oh, it's starting to get like a little cone thing going on here. I think I'm going to do one more increase. So I'm going to go from nine till 12. So we single crochet twice into the next stitch and then once and then once more, and then twice, and then once, and once more, and then twice, and then once, and once more. And we're going to do one more finishing row of single crochet all the way around. And I'm going to single crochet all the way around until I get back to my beginning point. And as you know from my previous um, tutorials, you look at the top of your little cone structure or your circular structure, you pick the point at which it begins to spiral from row one into row two, and that spiral point is your beginning point. And that's what I always use as my little, my little starter. So I'm going to go all the way around. Good. And one more. Okay. Now, I don't have any stuffing with me in the car, so I'm going to have to stuff this when I get back home, not the office or anything, even though I have stuffing there too. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to single crochet around the post. So I'm going to keep going in the same direction, but instead of going through the stitch like that, I'm going to go through the post. So I'm going to insert my hook from inside out and then outside in around the post. And I'm going to single crochet around the post of each previous stitch from the previous row, which will still be 12. And that will create sort of a ledge on the inside of my little tree here. And it's a little tricky. It's a little funny. It takes a little getting used to. So if you're trying this with me, just just focus on what you're doing and <laughs> hopefully you've got more time to spend on this little project than I do. 
actually have a clock going. I don't even have a clock. I'm going to have to check the one on my computer here. And people are driving by, wondering why I'm talking to myself. Come on, don't you all sit in your trucks and crochet on your lunch hour? <laughs> And when you're done, just slip stitch into your next stitch, or your la the stitch that would come next, and then just fasten off. Um, and you know what? Leave a long string because I think we will help sew this to the, to the post with this string. Uh, kind of like if you've done the cactus tutorial, how at the bottom I sewed the cactus into the pot first with the long green tail, and then second with the long pot colored tail. Just kind of gives it an added amount of uh, strength. There you go. So right there, <laughs> you've got a bit of a coniferous tree. Now, what tree would be complete without a little stump? I've got brown here. And I'm going to make this pretty much the same width around as my finger. And since we don't actually have to stuff it, it probably go pretty quickly. So this one fits neatly on the edge. So... I'm going to sew it into the bottom of that. Okay, so let me see. I'm not going to make a cinch circle. I'm just going to chain. I'm going to chain six to start. One, two, three, four, five, six, and see if that goes around my finger. Maybe one more. Seven. And I know these are probably going to go on little people. So, you know what? Eight. There we go. Eight single crochet. A chain of eight. Now I'm not going to twist it, I'm going to just make sure I don't twist and I'm going to continue single crocheting into the first stitch. And I'm just going to single crochet all the way around um, until, I don't know, maybe for like about four rows because then I think it'll be tall enough. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> all right. I think that's, I think four rows is deep enough. So I'm just going to make sure I'm level with the beginning. Then I'm going to slip stitch off and I'm going to sew it in with just the green thread. And I'm going to treat this as the bottom. So I'm not going to leave a long tail. I'm just going to fasten off and I'm going to weave this in. So I'm going to grab my yarn needle just going to quickly weave this in all the way around the bottom of the tree. All right. Now I'm going to sew the top of the tree to the bottom of the tree and we'll see how quickly I can put together this, this finger puppet. <laughs> so remember that you're going to sew around the inside of the um, the little ledge that you created on the inside of the tree and it's not going to be an exact match so you're just going to do your best to make it work crochet is is a it's not just an art form it's sort of a zen form i like to think i mean sure the end result is that you've got something like a toy or a blanket or a beautiful piece of clothing or just something funny or a, a nice little gift the end result isn't really the point. It's the process of doing it. You have a chance to reconnect with yourself, maybe with others if you sit around in a circle and do this. Um, it reminds you that the mind and the body are very much attached to each other. You can see something in your mind and then through the use of your hands you can bring it into creation. You can bring it into existence. Uh, a, sort of a solid object that you can share with other people and not just the idea of it um, or the picture of it. It's a it's a marvelous thing. Alright, once you're finished just weave in your little ends and uh, you know what, I think I might just refine this pattern a little bit more and I'm going to Maybe make the tree a little bit larger, a little more pronounced. 
but I can already see how this would be, oh yeah, this is, <laughs> anyway, that's the end of my lunch hour. I'm going to head back to the office now, so thank you for spending your lunch hour with me. I hope this was amusing, <laughs> or at least gave you some ideas, or at the very least prompted you to go out and find a bag of miscellaneous yarn and, and try your own little challenge. Uh, remember, inspiration is everywhere, so uh, we'll see you really, really soon probably for a proper tutorial. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, keep stitching, my friends. We'll see you shortly. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Next.